So let's look at number two and three. Notice straight away for these first term and the last term, both of these are square numbers. So let's try and see if this works. Square root of 81 being 9. Both signs are the same, both negative. And actually, 9 plus 9 does equal 18. So I know I got this one right. As it's the same factor, let's just write it square. Second one, I notice certainly 25 is a square number, but actually 4 is 2. So let's see if we can do a similar thing with this one. Well, square root of 25 is 5. Uh, square root of 4x squared is 2x, because 2x times 2x is 25. It's 4x squared, sorry. Both signs are the same, both positive. And you can check that with FOIL to see if this does work. You can see you get 10x and another 10x here. So we know we definitely get 20x uh, equal to 0. As it's the same factor, once again, we can write this as squared. Do a square root. Square root of 0, 0. And therefore, our answer is, if we do two opposites here, instead of adding 5, subtract 5. Instead of times in by 2, divided by 2. Then we just get the single answer of x equals negative 5 over 2.